Hi, this is Mrs. G with the real facts of life. Did you know that over 80% of men in the U.S. have been circumcised? Josh, are you cut or uncut? Uh, Mrs. G, that's not a very professional mm. uh, thing for me to answer. Looks to me like he's not cut. That's a whole lot of meat. <laughs> you take the good, you take the bad, and that's the theme song. Brightly shining it is the time of our dear Savior's birth. <laughs> you singing again, Mrs. G? Yes, I'm getting ready for the holiday season. Oh, are you ready for it? Yes, September 9th is right around the corner. What's uh, what's September 9th? It's the real Christmas. I didn't know that. Why? Nobody does. Everyone follows that other calendar, but Jesus was born somewhere in April, and he was baptized September 9th. I don't know if that's, uh... Accurate. I don't think I don't... you want to argue with me, Josh. Dad, Mrs. G. All right, sweet me. Sweet knees. Joshy sweet knees. It's okay if I call you Joshy sweet knees, right? Absolutely, Mr. G. Whenever you want. Oh, I'm starving. Your lunch is almost ready. Terrific. What's it today? Mashed potatoes and pork chop. Oh, I like when they're all mixed together in a blender and I could just sip it through a straw. I know, Mrs. G. I don't have to eat it that way, but I like people to think that I do. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a trickster. <laughs> Mrs. G, I, yes, Josh. I pulled up some more questions that were sent to you. Oh, I love when the people ask me questions. It looks like a lot of people have been coming to you for uh Well, I give care. them the real facts of life. Registered trademark to me. This question uh, comes from Bruce. Hi, Bruce. He's wondering if anal sex can give him uh, hemorrhoids. Yes, Bruce, anal sex can give you hemorrhoids, and then the sex gets better and better because the hemorrhoids get bigger and bigger. And when that man's shoving his dick inside your ass, it's so tight that he won't know what hit him. So go ahead, hemorrhoid away. You'll love it. And so will your husband. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm getting a phone call. Who is it, Josh? Uh, it looks like it's the pharmacy. I've got a few things I need to pick up for you. Oh, great. I hope that it's got my stool softener. <laughs> I have a uh, question here from Carl. Hi, Carl. Good luck with all your endeavors. It says uh, he wants to know, do I have a greater risk for infection if my genitals are pierced? Well, it depends. Are they pierced and gaping open, or are they pierced and filled with something? I think if you leave your pierced hole gaping open, yes, infection's gonna come right around the bend. And then once that infection hits, it gets all green and goopy, and then they gotta cut your balls off, and then you're a castrati, and then you talk like a high woman, and nobody wants to have sex with you. But if you fill it with something, like, I don't know, a nice ball bearing, or some sort of piercing with metal, then you'll be fine. Just take Listerine and throw it on there every now and then. Listerine! It clears up everything. Oh, I think that went wonderfully, Josh. Oh, the sex noise of the week is... <laughs> Remember to do that, whether you're alone or having sex in a group, and tell me how it goes. Good luck! Oh, 
I think that went very well, Josh. Oh, the sex noise of the week is... Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha